Icor International is a refrigerant manufacturer located in Indianapolis, Indiana. We've been in business since 1995 and are probably most recognized for our R12 replacement, Hotshot. We also offer safe and reliable HFC replacements for R22 and R502. And we've recently brought to market an HFC ozone-friendly R12 replacement. Sticking to our motto, making your life easier, i International would like to introduce our newest product, CleanShot. Due to the federal mandate to phase out ozone-depleting HCFC refrigerants, R22 in particular, the service technician has most likely had the opportunity to perform a refrigerant retrofit. When performing these retrofits, it's common practice to flush the existing line set to remove any contaminants or oil from the system. This procedure is common and in some cases required when replacing R22 equipment to R410A equipment. CleanShot is a simple system flush that, when used correctly, will help ensure contaminants and debris commonly left in a system will be easily and safely removed. We also recommend using CleanShot on equipment that has experienced a compressor burnout to assist with removing unwanted acids and contaminants from the system. This presentation will be focused on the procedures required when using CleanShot. i International is committed to the training and education of technicians in the air conditioning and refrigeration industry. Keeping with this commitment, we've developed this presentation as a guide to assist the competent and experienced HVAC-R service technician. It should be understood that the procedures that follow are not related to a specific brand or manufacturer of equipment, but should be considered a guideline for refrigeration equipment in general. i International is not responsible for personal injury or equipment damage during or after performing these procedures. It's always recommended to follow industry safety standards when servicing any air conditioning or refrigeration equipment. Failure to follow these standards could result in injury or equipment failure. We recommend following these simple guidelines when considering the use of CleanShot. 1. CleanShot can be used to flush any R12, R134A, R22, R502, R404A, and R507A designed system. 2. CleanShot will flush out all compressor oils, including PAG and PVE. 3. CleanShot is not considered a hazardous material for storage or ground transportation. 4. Use in a well-ventilated area. Wear safety gloves and eye protection. 5. Visually inspect the system piping for low spots or traps. This may cause clean shot to puddle and leave contaminants in the system. 6. On line set sizes from 1 quarter inch to 1 inch OD refrigerant pipe, you may use the handy shot fitting to easily flush the line set. 7. Clean shot is not recommended for flushing system components such as compressors, expansion valves, filter dryers, reversing valves, accumulators, etc. 8. When flushing evaporator coils or condenser coils with clean shot, they must be removed from the system to remove contaminants. The following guidelines should be followed when using clean shot for line set flushing. 1. Ensure that all refrigerant has been recovered from the equipment. 2. Disconnect the suction and liquid lines at the condenser and evaporator. 3. Crimp one end of both lines, leaving an opening to help build up pressure so flushing contaminants will be pushed out into a container. 4. Insert the handy shot fitting into the non-crimped end of the tubing. With the clean shot cylinder in the upright position, 
handle toward the sky. Start flushing the tubing for 30 to 90 seconds, depending on the tubing size and length. Reusing the handy shot fitting, purge the line set with nitrogen. Repeat flushing and nitrogen purge as necessary until flush is clear. 6. After flushing is completed, purge the tubing with approximately 100 PSIG of nitrogen to push any remaining flush from the tubing. 7. Reconnect the tubing to the evaporator and condenser. 8. Install a new liquid line filter dryer. 9. Evacuate the system to a minimum of 500 microns. 10. Recharge the system with refrigerant. 11. Adjust the refrigerant charge to designed subcooling if the system is equipped with an expansion valve or compressor superheat if equipped with a fixed orifice or cap tube. For component flushing like evaporators, condensers, or vacuum pumps, contact our technical support department at 866-433-8324. Thank you.